Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about various security options available on Mailenable. First, we will see domain and user blocking. Then we will work with the blacklist and whitelist management. And later we will discuss about domain checking, PTR checking, address spoofing, hello check, etc. So let's get started. Here I am working with two example domain, optimize.com and mailserverguru.com. I have logged into optimize.com's mail server, mailer.optimize.com and mailer.mailserverguru.com. And I have remote desktop to pc1.optimize.com and pc1.mailserverguru.com. Let's see how to block a domain to send mail to us. This is called blacklisting a domain. Blacklisted domains are unable to send mail to this domain. From optimize.com, we do not want to take any mail from mailserverguru.com. So we have added mailserverguru.com here. If we send a mail from pc1.mailserverguru.com, let's send a mail to Anthony at Optimus. So mail is gone. Now if we check from the Anthony's account, send receive. So we are not receiving any mail. Let's see Optimus log. Here on the log, it says from user1 at Mail Guru to Anthony at Optimus. 550 request action not taken. The domain you are sending mail from is not permitted to access this server. So domain blacklisting is working. Now, if you want to block any user from sending mail, we can block local users from here. So user5 will not be able to send and receive mail. So this is called the local user blocking. Now let's configure the blacklisting, DNS blacklist. To enable DNS blacklisting, we need to check the enable DNS blacklisting. So you can ask, what is DNS blacklist? DNS blacklist are basically DNS zones. These zones contains thousands of known spammer IP. During incoming connection, mail enable can check with the renowned blacklist providers that the connecting IP is blacklisted or not. If the IP found blacklisted, then we can take decision based on that either to receive mail and tag them as spam or just deny the connection. Here you can add multiple blacklist providers and mail enable will check all the blacklist for the connecting IP. Also we can configure our custom DNS blacklist. Here I have added dns.localrbl.com. This is configured on my local DNS. On the DNS, RBL records are configured in reverse order. If you see, we have blocked 192.168.100.10. This is our mailserverguru.com's mail server IP. So if we configure the local RBL here, let's send a test mail from mail server guru's user. Let's hit send. Now from pc1.optimus, we are not receiving any mail. Now let's check the debug log of optimize.com on the below you can see that it says smtp for anthony.optimize.com is local and message blocked from 100.10 was found in dns blacklist database local rbl so our local rbl or dns blacklisting is working now let's say mailserverguru.com is our business partner and they are somehow blacklisted on the blacklist providers, but we want mail from the server. So in that case, we can manually whitelist the mail server IP. So we can manually add whitelist. Here it says the whitelisted IP address are not checked for reverse DNS blacklist. So let's add 110 IP. So now we should get mail from the mail server guru.coms. If you send another mail, let's send. Now the user should receive the mail. Here test 4 for received. So the whitelist is working. This is manually whitelisting IP. We have a nice option here, enable outbound whitelist. If any user from our domain sends a mail to any domain and that domain found blacklisted, it will auto whitelist that domain so that mail from that domain are not checked against the blacklist providers. 
so if we check here and if we send a mail to mailserverguru.com so mailserverguru will be auto whitelisted so let's see how auto whitelist works now let's send a mail from optimus to user1 at mailserverguru.com let's send mail and user1 should receive the mail pair one on two mail received now let's send a mail from mail server guru to anthony again if the auto whitelist works we should receive the mail here you can see the test one one came from the user one at mail server guru so our auto whitelist is working fine now let's go to the security settings on the first option sender email domain must be local or resolvable through dns these settings will check about domains authenticity each time mail enable receives an email it will check the domains that it exists on the internet because spammers used to send mail with fake from address so this setting will reduce a lot of spam on the second option authenticated senders must use address from their post office if this option is selected users who are authenticating to send email must configure that email client with an email address that valid for their post office this option helps force clients to use a legitimate email address thereby reducing the possibility of spam hide sender ip address in received email header by default the ip address of a client connecting is displayed in the header of an email message if the network has its own ip range which is to remain hidden to receivers of email this option will replace the ip address with the loopback ip this is not that mandatory option disable all catch-all this is self-explanatory it will uh, disable all the catch-all address allow domain literals here it says you may wish to allow the server to accept email for an ip address which is not configured on the server enter this ip address below so this is not that necessary restrict the number of recipients per email to 20 it is recipients limit within a single mail how many recipients we can mention let's say 10 this is optimal if you need we can increase this later limit number of recipients per hour to 200 so server can send 200 mail per hour if you need we can increase this later ptr record check or pointer record check this is important normally every mail server hostname are mapped to an ip address this is called the forward lookup ptr check will test the reverse entry on dns the ip address of the mail server should be mapped against the same hostname but most of the server's ip are not mentioned on the reverse dns so we have to use this carefully so if we set reject senders without ptr now let's send a mail from mailserverguru.com mailserverguru.com's server ip are not mentioned on the, the reverse zone so it should deny the mail let's send mail now it bounced back and it said the server returned 554 the server requires ptr to unauthenticated connections so our ptr record checking is okay on the next option address spoofing it says that address spoofing is where the senders use an smtp envelope sender address which does not match their actual mailbox details so first option says anyone can spoof sender address both authenticated and unauthenticated senders can send using an address that contain a domain which is configured Authenticated users can spoof sender address. Only users who authenticate with the username and password are able to send email. So this is the best option. We are not allowing anyone to spoof sender address. Use an alternate welcome message. Greetings from Optimus. This is a welcome message. When a connecting mail server first connects with this server, it will send this greeting message. We can test it here from the pc server guru. If we tell net to mailer.optimus to 25 port. Here it says the greetings from Optimus. On the connection dropping, drop a connection when the failed number of commands or recipients reaches six. We have set six here. Uh, this is a good option because if the failed recipients reach to six, then it should drop the connection with the connecting system. If we check this option, we also can add the connecting IP to the blacklist if this number is reached. And finally, the yellow blocking drop a connection when the hello command sent to server matching a string normally when a connecting system connects to our server to send mail then it first sends the hello greeting 
spammers normally use very common yellow gratings and we can add those strings here if the yellow gratings match with the strings here then it will block the connection though this is not very effective for spam protection but we can configure so this is it for today thank you for being with me if you still didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe it will encourage me a lot to create more video for you so thank you and i'll see you on the next video bye